it's Ruth here at Artful Stamping. Hello, Miss Vicky. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up already. You guys are so awesome. So if you're new to my channel, please do say hello where you're from. And uh, let's get to know you a little bit better. It's lovely to welcome new followers to the channel. So I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. And it's Friday! Am I sounding excited? <laughs> I don't know why I'm sounding excited because I've got a busy day tomorrow. But anyway, it's kind of, it's that weekend feeling. Uh, I've just had a lovely class with a group of people doing some stamping. So that's been fabulous. It's kind of fired me up to doing a bit more stamping. I'm not going to show you what I did in class. However, I will say that it did inspire me a little bit. So some of what you're about to see me do may be a little bit similar to something I've, I did earlier. I'm thinking I'm going to be touching on a little bit of Christmas inspiration for those of you who are making lots of Christmas cards at the moment and uh, I'm just trying to find some cardstock and but please don't you know if you're not into making Christmas cards please don't you know turn the channel over <laughs> this is what who used to say that um um i think years ago you know before we had like gazillions of channels it'd be like we'd have like three or four or whatever but um yeah so don't turn the channel over just yet um we're gonna um just just do some happy floral stamping you know stuff that you may be used to seeing me do if you're a follower of my channel it's also friday so we take a bit of a laid back approach we're not kind of in a major hurry hopefully to be anywhere and um you know just gonna hang out chill out so thank you so much for coming on and saying hi those of you who have and let's just get on now the one thing i i have dug out because i feel like i haven't used these to great effect yet are these stencils so I think I'm gonna just do a super simple layout with you okay so I'm quite known for doing these stamped one sheet wonders which is basically where you get stamps stamp a whole sheet cut it up but sometimes it's helpful to have a little bit of forethought and I'm wondering what if we go for the in the corners design with something coming in with something in the middle with some snowflakes what do you think i think that could be quite pretty but go for just some really pale snowflakes in the background so i've got on my desk already coastal no i haven't i've got mint macaron no i don't want mint macaron i want something a bit more blue than that um <clears throat> I think I'll go for Barbie blue, but I've got a feeling this needs re-inking because I went to stamp with it earlier and I was like, mmm, that's hardly any blue on there. So let's just, oh my goodness, look at that. Hardly anything on there. Let's get this baby inked up. Right, hello, hello, everybody. Do say hi. Hi, Wendy, Mindy, Martina. Hi. Oh, you're gorgeous, Martina. Oh, you know what? I've got a coffee as well, Linda. Decaf, but I've got a coffee. Are you, it's wet in Australia as well. It is soggy here in Wales. It's been raining for about the last two hours. So, yeah. Hi, Lisa and Susan, Laurie, Melissa, Karen. Margaret, it's been raining non-stop for a week. Oh, good for crafting. Absolutely, it's crafting weather. Yeah, I have a lovely customer who, like... She loves her garden, but then she says, but I can't wait for it to rain because then I can get some crafting done. I think she feels guilty for staying indoors if um, if the weather's nice outside. So, there we go. Hi, Julie. Hi, Maureen. Who else has just joined? Darlene, Susan, Christine. Hello, Sheila. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine, Paula. Oh, it's raining in Vancouver. Yeah, Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Yeah, I, I have a caffeinated in the morning, but then once it gets to afternoon, evening, mm -mm, no. But I just wanted to have that kind of flavour in my mouth, so I then end up having the decaf. 
because I still want to be able to sleep. I love my sleep. So, right. I wonder what would happen if I do this. Oh. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. No, okay, don't do that. Do this instead. <laughs> uh, what do we say on this channel? I make the mistake so you don't have to. Oh, well, there we go. <clears throat> oh, now, okay, so I, I did it that way. I want to carry on this little snowflake like this, so I'm just going to flip it around. See if I can get that over like that. Just makes it a bit easier to handle because I can then use my left, because I'm right handed, I'm using my left hand to hold that in place. That's a bit easier. There we go. Can have that one sticking out like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we're not going to have the whole corner business i think it might be something else i'm doing here it's changed its mind sometimes that happens you start doing something and then it like oh it mutates into something else oh well never mind hello miss glenna lorraine if you've got something to eat hi louise So I'm deciding to kind of focus on like a, a snowflake and then, yes, I am catching the other snowflakes, but I'm not going to over worry about that too much. So just focus in on the one because that's the only thing about stenciling is that, you know, <laughs> it's a bit tricky to kind of be too prescriptive. I do like that little cluster of three there. That's quite cute. I like that. Let's go with those. Oh, now I could have used a different colour in here just to make it a bit more interesting. But I am planning to do some stamping over this. So, I just, you know, it's all good. I'm mixing snowflakes and flowers tonight, guys. So I want quite a nice bold blue for this next bit. I'm going to be using colour and, co and contour again. I know you might be getting bored of this, but I'm not because it's just a fabulous little stamp. Love it. So, shall we go for a bit of Pacific Point? And, I don't know, a bit of Night of Navy? Maybe, or Misty Moonlight. Have I got Misty Moonlight on my desk? There we go. Hmm, okay. Let's have a bit of fun here. Oh, you had another reaction. Oh, went. Okay, so I'm not doing the four corners and the middle business anymore. Sorry. The snowflakes told me they wanted to go there. So there you go. Um, although I think the snowflakes are also saying that they need a few more up here. Oh, where's that blue got? Yes, this is uh, these stencils are from the mini. Uh, the August to December mini. Yeah, these are current stencils. These are the Christmas stencils. What I call the Christmas stencil. <laughs> Sorry, the winter stencils. Maybe that's a better term for them. Oh, I've got that all notch there. Right. Okay. Let's stop there a second. So I've got... Misty Moonlight here. Now, again, I probably should check how inked this is. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, I'll just use the, try and use the corner a bit. That's a bit better inked. And I don't want to stamp, obviously, on top of a snowflake. I want these to be um, near snowflakes, but not like obliterating them. So I'm kind of looking for gaps as to where I can pop these without interfering too much with the snowflakeage so we have dotage we now have snowflakeage <laughs> you heard it here first I'll stick that one there a bit of a space up there 
It's snowing. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. It's all good. Get some Pacific Point. Yes, we've got snow flickage. Snow flickage? Snow flickage. We've got splottage now. Sorry, for those of you who are new to my channel, you may not know this. But I like to use those little stamps that you find in stamp sets and you think, why are they there? Those little dotty ones, you know. And I've discovered that they are the finishing touch on any good stamped paper. So. Now, this isn't at the moment, this is... Uh, I know this is room for improvement because I've got all these sort of weird spaces and stuff, but it's okay. I, I've got, you know, lots of other stamps waiting in the wings to go on here, so it's going to be okay. I'll grab my, my cleaner. Now, every so often, it's helpful just to wipe your fingers. Isn't it Jan? Is Jan watching? Is Jan here? <laughs> I've just done a class with Jan. She's got ink everywhere. Right, so I'd like a nice leaf behind here and I'm thinking a little bit of nice mint macaron and again I'm just going to see if this needs inking oh dear me mm, mm. <clears throat> yes I think it does so out come the reinkers again oh look at that that's got a bit of ink where it shouldn't be but never mind okay all right let's pop some of that in there it's particularly the middle area i think it's because you know when we ink up our stamps we tend to aim for the middle of the ink pad which is you know makes sense so those areas tend to get dry very quickly so then just push the ink in there we go. Right. Look at this beautiful leaf. Now this leaf has got a little bit of dotage already round and about it. So, so we are mixing very kind of different types of stamps together. But I think it will work. You do have the stencil, Jane. Congratulations, my darling. <laughs> oh, isn't that fun when that happens? Actually, it just happened in class just now. Um, I was talking about a stamp set and someone went, oh, I've just realised I've got it. <laughs> oh, put Susie T back. No, we get the humour, Martina. Wendy would have got that. Although I might have to read it out because Wendy um, said that her eyes are puffy. So Martina said put tea bags on your eyes, but then that might see, make you see less. But then I don't think she read it because her eyes are puffy. <laughs> the irony, the irony. You can get an app that will read out the comments to you. So um, that's okay, Martin, you made me giggle. <laughs> you can tell she can't stay. She's doing um can't spell now. <laughs> right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Maybe one over here. There we go, that'll do. Okay, pretty. So the other stamp set I wanted to use, so this is about mixing textures in a way that you don't end up with a hot mess. 
All right, so let's just talk this through. We've got this fabulous kind of quite bold flower. We've got this kind of solid-ish leaf, okay? But I, mean, I know it's got a little bit of dotage around it, but it's kind of solid. So we've got the contrast then of uh, the colours there, okay? So because you, you could argue, okay, that is pretty solid. That is pretty solid. That's fine. Put them together. But that's a leaf. That's a flower. Then my plan is to add more delicate leaves into here to, to juxtapose against the more solid of that pale leaf. All right. So that's that's kind of where I'm heading with this. So um, I've got a choice here. I've got this beautiful kind of very ferny looking thing, which I think could work. And do I have just jade on my table? Oh, I do. Okay. So I could do that beautiful fern in just jade. Oh, I already have it out. And then I'm thinking of maybe coming back with a darker colour and doing the smaller fern to uh, create a bit of a nest then amongst uh, and around the flower. So let's have a think. That's where would we put that? Okay. Hi, Cindy. Oh, you look like you're having a fabulous time. Did you butt call me earlier, Cindy? Like you mess, you faint, you um, rang me on Messenger, and then I was like, "Hello, hello, Cindy, hello." And then nothing happened. So I figured you must have butt called me. So that is an official term, you know, when you've got a phone in your pocket and it, you call somebody by accident. What's the stamp set that has the Christmas tree made of snowflakes? Oh, 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 someone will know the answer to that one. Hi, Susan. Pocket calls. Yes, pocket calls. Is that what you call them? That's that's what that's much nicer, much more polite, Anne. Yes, I, I think maybe I should change my description. Right. Just looking for some spaces. Haven't got one over here. Oh, you did send me a Facebook message. Oh, did you? Oh, did I see that? Oh, no, I... Oh, okay. It doesn't seem to have come through properly. Snow is scarcely. What was your description, Ruth? Oh, about oh, butt dialed. Yeah, I said butt dialed, but Anne said pocket called, which I think is much more refined. We, we, we try to add some refinement, but, you know, sometimes it just comes out all wrong. Oh, a tree made of snowflakes. Um, is, in the, is it in the mini catalogue? Is that what you're asking? Uh, oh, I just want to go somewhere. Okay. Oh, just wondering who's watching the new Arrow series on Disney? For you Marvel fans out there who started watching it. Oh, snow is glistening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought oh, I thought Sheila was saying the snow is glistening. I thought Sheila was having like a little Christmassy moment and <laughs> saying <laughs> Sorry, Sheila. <laughs> oh my days. I just read your comment and went, Oh, Sheila's having a little, you know, little moment. 
No, she's, she's actually passing on information to me. Oh, dear. Silly, silly woman. <laughs> right. Thank you, Cindy. Oh, Wendy, that's lovely. Yeah, because she's not been well, has she? How's she feeling? So this is shaded spruce, everybody, which is a little bit darker than just jade. So shaded spruce stamped off is quite similar to just jade. It, it's maybe a little bit lighter, but they're kind of, you know, they're like cousins or sister. No, they're a bit closer than cousins. They're like uh, sisters, really. I'm just adding some bits of foliage, more foliage. And we see explained on unknown with another. Okay. Hi Linda, hi Reet. I'm having fun with this we're just kind of like filling my page really and I'm trying to make it so the stencil the snowflakes are not so kind of in your face oh I bet he was Yes, Susan, 1st of December. Yeah, yeah. And also, 1st of December, guys, The um, there'll be reductions of stuff in the mini catalogue as well. Yeah, so there's some, there are some Christmas things we're actually going to get reduced, so it's worth checking the website on the 1st of December because there are going to be some reductions. Oh. Right, I think, I don't know, I don't know whether to put some berries in or dotage. Hmm. I mean, dotage goes without saying, but I'm wondering whether to put. Just as like a bit of a different texture, because we haven't got anything like it on here. I think you're bringing back Pacific Point for that. Blueberries, exactly Martina, blueberries. Ah, oh, thank you Martina. These colours really complement each other to a feeling of fresh, fresh, crisp air. Yeah. Lisa, take care. Thank you for joining us. dark blueberries yes i'm thinking this specific point this oh well if i ink it properly hmm not sure about my placement though oh well hmm. Maybe I should have gone with a rule that I only do them near some foliage like this because I kind of messed it up over there. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't think that properly, never mind. Okay, so at the moment, the my eye's being drawn to these blue blobs, but I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna worry about it because once the dotage goes on, it helps to balance it all out. So it's okay, it'll be okay. Um, just going around the place with these. Uh, now I've started, I can't stop. Mm. Okay, and so we have a choice of dotage. We've got that lovely one there. But we also have this denser one here, this this one. Which I think might be helpful. Oh, my, my light keeps flickering. I don't know if you noticed that. Hi, Janine. Happy New Year. I mean, no, not Happy New Year. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Wrong celebration. Oh, I hope you're having a fun time with your family. Right, see? So I'm deliberately stamping. This is exactly the same colour. This is Pacific Point. But I'm deliberately stamping it over the blueberries to... Um, so what I want to uh, de 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 des no de oh, there's a word isn't there not like disseminate 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 is that the word I want to disseminate the oh, someone will tell me what's the right word I want to use disperse no not disperse See, I love the English language. We have such like specific, beautiful words for things, which is great when you can remember what they are. Dissipate. That's it, isn't it? Dissipate. Fill the white spots. Yes, you're quite right, Martina. I'm going to fill the white spots. But I don't really want to introduce any other colour at the moment. So I think I'm going to do it with... When I say another colour, I mean, like, I don't want to add, like, red or something. I think a bit of soft sea foam just in the middle of these. Just to stop them looking so naked. There we go. And look, I'm doing scribbly colouring in. I'm not even thinking about it too much. I loop the colour impact. Differentiate, delineate, diffuse. Diffuse is it. I think that's a, a good one. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Georgiana. Right, there we go. So we've got the the middle bits um, in. Hi, Nina. Now I've done that little bit of soft sea foam, I think it would be quite nice to do some delicate dotage now in the soft sea foam. Just something really pale in the background. Oh, gold flakes. Oh, yes. That would be nice. But I, it's, it's Friday and I think I'm just going to keep it simple tonight. Actually, I'm going to go for balmy blue. I know I said soft sea foam, but... Barmy blues on my desk, so. So what I like about this dotage is that there's some little crosses in it, which almost look like snowflakes. So this just helps to um, break up the solid solidity of the snowflakes as well. So where you know where a snowflake is looking a little bit harsh, I'm just popping some dotage by it, and then it just helps. 
There we go. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, so I know this is a bit of a random design, but please, please remember this is designed to be cut up. Okay, so I may only use very small portions of this. It's, it's you know, it is what it is. Okay, I like that. It's very soft and kind of, as Martina said, sort of reminds you of a frosty morning. That's kind of the look that you're kind of going for. Right, let's see. What other... Oh, now you see, I've got this mask in here. I did use that the other day. And then we've got these ones. Hmm, I wonder why to just do something new. Let's do something new. What am I going to make with it, Wendy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that far in advance. <laughs> Um, probably I need to I, I really do need to stock up oh sorry on Christmas cards for my customers um, yeah because it's nearly the end of the month I also oh I'm so aware I haven't filmed October thank you I have got some new stamp sets actually that I can do that with but um, yeah no thank you Thank November thank you cards will hopefully go out with I'm planning to order the new catalogues. So um yeah. Right, so um I'm wondering then to go back to my original idea of the the flowers coming from the edges and then coming in however before we do that I'm going to put some texture down that looks like it's got some colour on it already hmm. oh what about going dark to oh, no hold on no 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 I don't want to do that I was going to say what if we go dark to light or something We'll build up the colour. Hmm. Let me always think. I'm just having a little think. Actually, let's go something a bit different. Let's do a bit of fresh freesia. The snowman I'm colouring would look really nice on that, says Laurie. Ooh. What stamp set are you using for that, Laurie? One from the leaves. Hold on. Are you talking? Is that a conversation you're having with me, Cindy? Oh, it's overlapped a little bit there, but that's okay. Are the masks from the annual catalogue? These masks are from the holiday. Yeah, these are from the holiday catalogue. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, I know it'll be a little bit dramatic, but you know what? I've got Blackberry Bliss on my desk. Hold on. I need a post-it note to help me here. Sometimes it's just got to be done. I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, stay still.
So I know some of you are cooking and some of you are still got family round for um, Thanksgiving and stuff. What's everyone else doing around the world? Oh, it moved, so I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna keep moving around. <gasps> Decorating the tree! Yay! Cooking day three. <laughs> Day three in Linda's house. Sorry, that's a reference to Big Brother, UK Big Brother. Because um, the guy who narrated it had a very distinctive kind of northern accent. Day two in the Big Brother house. Okay, that's the, actually I'm going to leave that open because I want to stamp something. Let's go with these gorgeous poinsettias. Cornish hens for dinner. Ooh, what's a Cornish hen? Ooh. Come on, you can't just, you know, drop that in and not give us a recipe. Or at least an idea of what that is. A Cornish hen. Is that a hen from Cornwall? Oh, Janine, you are like Master Chef, you are. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Susan. Oh, my goodness. So sorry to hear that. Man. I think I might need to re-ink this one. Oh, tiny fowl. Okay. On Tuesday, I'm going to my youngest grandson's Christmas concert. Oh. Okay, Cindy, take care. Give your mum a kiss for me. Hi, Gleda MCC. Oh, welcome. Beef rendang cooked for sun. Oh, Wendy, that sounds yum. Do you use like a sauce or something, or like a packet sauce or a jar, or what do you use to do that? Or a um, paste or... Actually, I think I have a recipe for that for you in my instant pot and I did make it one time for a friend of mine and I really liked it oh that's got me going I think I'd like to cook that so where are you from Gleda MCC 
Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce what how would you like us to pronounce your handle? Chow mein, ooh, hot dish. Chow mein hot dish. Do you mean like it's spicier? Oh, Glida. Hi, Glida from Ohio. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so exciting when people get to make the lives because it's, it's a whole different experience. I make the paste from scratch. Oh, no bought paste would do, says Wendy March. Oh, Wendy, could you email me your recipe? Um, okay, I'm wondering whether to go balmy blue because I do want to, I know this might sound crazy, but I want to put some granny apple green in this in a minute. But I want a softer colour in the background first. So I don't know whether to go for mint macaron or balmy blue. Oops, come on. Right. So I'm inking this without the stems. Oh, it's pretty juicy. Where are we inking earlier? Oh my goodness, Janine. Wow. That's news. I mean, international news, not obviously everyone has news. Wow. Fried hamburger, onion, celery, garlic, one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom, cooked in oven an hour for an hour, then topped with chow mein noodles. Oh. oh, casserole. Hot dish is a Midwestern term for a casserole. Oh, okay, got you. Not spicy then, <laughs> like I thought. Fair enough. Oh, poops. This stamp does not want to stick to my block today. I was using it earlier and it wasn't behaving. I'm just going to give the back of it a little wipe. I think it needs some more sticky on the back of it. Although giving it a wipe has helped. Right, I'm going to try and cover up this boo-boo. There we go. Into the woods. Careful what you say. Children will listen. Children will hear. Here's to the ladies that love. 
right that'll be it for that one so that stamp is from a set called text no hold on tasteful touches tasteful touches okay so while this stamps out oh or do i use that one mm, hold on, let's have a look see i'm wondering whether to use that shape because we haven't got anything like that on here so far and it will help kind of like mimic that lovely bit of the pointiness of that hi deb hi heidi shaw Heidi from Florida, love watching you create and hear your friends' responses. I've learned so much. Thank you. Um, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Reet. <laughs> I have a friend who says the same thing. Um, she, she'll go out of the room and then come back and go, oh, what? <laughs> Oh, night night, Christine. Yes, I wondered if the electric was being affected because my light sort of flickered. Yeah, best thing, go to bed. <laughs> Rest well. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Like, mm, where am I going to put that one? Okay, it's all good. Do you use your iPhone? Uh, no, I've got a Samsung. I've got a Samsung S20 for my lives. You could use an iPhone. Just wanted more of this granny apple green in here because it's just so pretty. So for those of you just joining, this layout is designed to be cut up into four. Now I've got to decide what to stamp in the middle of these poinsettias because unfortunately the centre little, that one, is the stamp that I lost last Friday. So I have got another poinsettia set actually that has a little dot in it. Although what I could do is maybe, oh, I could stamp that in the middle. Berries. No, it's not quite, you know, realistic. That's fine. It's not, it's like, not like this is a realistic kind of image, is it? Oh, you have the same one as me. 
Janine. Oh, that works well, doesn't it? Actually, I think I like like it because it, it sort of brings a bit more attention to the centre. There we go. Right. Hmm. I'm wondering whether to either... Oh, I've got those ones over there. Where's Sheila when you need her? Sheila, you didn't tell me about these ones. <laughs> Take care, Karen. Sleep well. Yeah, so Elaine, um, generally you need to have a thousand subscribers to go live from a, a small device. But I think some people are finding it okay if they set up the live via their PC or laptop, because you can do that in YouTube Studio, but then use their iPad to go live. Um, two of my team are doing that at the moment. So Wendy Wu and uh, Elementary Paper Crafting, that's the way they're getting around the whole you need a thousand subscribers to go live from a little a small device. So have an experiment with that really. Right, um, where's my green? No, that's not green, that's grey. Okay. Do you know I wanted to put a little bit of green just over there? <laughs> Looks like I've got a booger on here. It's not, I promise you, it's glue. It's a gooba. <gasps> Wendy's Wendy's giving me the recipe there. Hold on a second. Lemongrass, red onions, garlic, cloves, fresh root ginger. Oh, I can't get Kalangal up here. Red chilies, ground cumin, ground coriander, turmeric, ground oh, sorry, curry leaves. I've got curry leaves, got cinnamon stick, coconut milk and tamarind. Okay. I haven't got any tamarind at the moment, but I can get hold of that. So you basically make your own paste. So if you if you were to make like a higher like a bigger quantity, how long would that paste last for? Could you put it in the fridge and just keep it? Keep it for a bit. Now, I'm being very careful here because as I'm sponging on this green, it's reactivating some of the purple. So I'm just being a bit careful. There we go. That is super pretty. Super, super pretty. Right, do I do some Blackberry Bliss in that? Yes, I think I will. I've learned so much from you and my embossing is going so much better than when I started. Oh, brilliant, Lorraine. Try Morrison's for the gallon girl. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's really good, Elaine. The it, I suppose the the cumin adds warmth, doesn't it? To the just a little bit of warmth. But but a, a sort of earthiness as well, isn't it? It's not hot, is it? Cor uh, cumin. Actually, no. Cumin is kind of almost cooling sometimes in flavour. What am I saying? Yeah, it's weird like that. Oh, uh, galangal is is a root, a bit like ginger, I, I believe. 
thought, can you substitute galangal for ginger? I have to confess, I'm not completely sure of the flavour of Galangal because I'm not sure if I've actually had it and or eaten a dish and gone, oh, that's that flavour. Of course you do Blackberry Bliss for the uh, dotage. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> oh, you get a oh, you're getting a reaction. Ooh, no, don't have that then. Right, there's something missing. Something missing from this. I'm wondering whether I need some little tiny flowers. Hmm. What about that one? Have you still got your guests with you, Janine? Oh, you freeze it. Ah, okay. Galangal has a sharp citrusy, almost piney flavour. <laughs> God bless Google. <laughs> Linda, I thought you'd written that all by yourself. <laughs> yes, you, Janine, have you, got, have you still got guests at your house? I'm really liking this. It's a bit unusual, but I think it's fab. It's very dramatic, isn't it? Which is kind of what I wanted it to be, really. So, Blackberry Bliss, Mint Macaron, Granny Apple Green, and Fresh Freesia. Good. Does giving me a thumbs up help me? It does. Yeah, thank you. To be honest, giving me a thumbs down helps me as well. But shh, don't tell the trolls that.
What's really fabulous is if after I've gone live, you can comment as well. That's really great. And then if you want to help me, so that's first stage help. <laughs> first stage, give me love, is thumbs up. Second stage is comment on the video. Um, that's kind of more, uh, e uh, that's easier, I guess, if you're watching it on the replay and, you know, the comment box is there because the comment box isn't there during the live. And then the third way you can help is to share this video with somebody who you think will enjoy it. Please don't go sharing it with absolutely everybody because I don't want to um, spam somebody who's not interested in making cards. Um, so yeah, share it out with somebody who you think will enjoy this video. If you're in the UK and would like to shop with me, you can click on the link in the description and shop with me. Go and grab a host code though before you do that because then you'll be eligible for a little voucher from me for the following month. And then um, if you're not able to shop with me, another way to support me is to either super chat me right now in the live chat or you can PayPal gift me. And the link is in the description as well. There's lots of ways to support my channel. Lots of free ways to support my channel as well as monetarily. So I don't, I just, uh, I appreciate every, every, every person that watches and shares and so on. Right, I think I'm happy with that now. I've got my extra little bit of dotage in there in my second colour and also got, um, by comparison, Ruth, this is for you, almost a monochrome. <laughs> That's funny, Martina. Yeah, purple and green, two colours. That's not bad for me, really. I know, well, well, this was the monochrome, that one, really. Blues, well, blues and greens. Next to each other on the colour wheel. Let's have a reminder. Blues, blue, green tones, they're close to each other on the colour wheel. Now, this one, no, these are opposite. So we've got purple over here and then we've got a little bit of pale blue green. So blue green with white makes kind of that mint macaron colour. And then uh, we've got limey green over here. So that one, yellow green. And then purples right over here. So there we go. Actually, it's more like that purple there with the black. Or that one there. So, yeah, this was super fun. I just, I kind of like, was just happy to play with the patterns and, you know, see see where it took me. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please do give me a thumbs up. Oh, Claire was lurking in the background there. So, oh, thank you. 96 of you watching right now. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, guys. This is the highest it's been for quite a while. And uh, I hope this gave you some Christmas inspiration. So if you want to just hang on and see what this would look like um, with, you know, being cut up. Let's have a look at the template. So for those of you who have not seen this before, this is a piece of the vellum card or paper, whatever you want to call it, that Stampin' Up! do. And I've just drawn lines with Sharpie. Uh, to give a rough guide of how this could be cut up. So this, look how this works. You've got this great big beautiful section there with a little section there and a little bit of white space running through it. And so you've got that if you were to cut this into four. Now if you were to cut it even in half again, look how fabulous that is. You've got that big cluster there and a bit of white space. Cluster here, a bit of white space and those little pretty flowers. And same here, you've got this lovely... Kind of cluster coming from here maybe you know you haven't got so much of that big flower there but i don't think it matters you've got that, that lovely cluster and then the stenciling and that works let's see if this works like this as well yes it does so actually i might cut this up into eight because you know this took half an hour to stamp so i may as well make the most most of that so let's have a look at this one now So yeah, that would work cut in half. That is a 
pretty busy that side so I think this would benefit from being cut into two sections yeah that can be one section that can be one section and then let's see yeah see that doesn't work so well for me I, I think that's better just in two pieces one there one there and then so get six out of that so that's pretty cool What was that, Ree? Uh, Ree, can you... Who, who are you asking that? Your um, message has been held in review. Read. Um... Where does I get my colour wheel from? Uh, Amazon. Whoa. It is very blustery outside my window. My goodness. I can hear things moving around out there. I might just have to go and check what's going on. Um, thank you, Susan. Lots of love to you. Um, you can hear it, yeah. So, yeah, these will probably make their way to some of my customers. And uh, so thank you if you are my customers, because um, one of my customers, because um, it's fabulous. You can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You can take, look on Amazon, just take a picture of the colour wheel with your phone. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, this one is an interactive one, so you obviously won't get that full benefit. Um, they're less than five pounds. They're like two or three pounds, I think. Oh, yes, Linda. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Navarana. Uh, so, yeah, so this is interactive. I don't know if you can look, look at all that. See that? And on the back, it also shows you um, it, it gives a bit of explanation to do with colour theory. So it tells you what is monochromatic, what is anal analogous analogous uh achromatic and then stuff to do with color and light uh complementary split complements dyad triad tetrad um to do with how you how you mix things um and then so here you've got i don't know let's go to blue for example so you can move this wheel this is a secondary wheel so if you add red to blue that's what you get if you add yellow to blue that's what you get if you add white to the blue, that's what you get. And then if you add black to blue, that's what you get. So it's, you know, um, you, you can print off colour wheels off the internet and, and you would just literally get a colour wheel, which is fine. You can also print off blank ones. So if you wanted just to get a blank one and fill it in with stamping up colours, that's quite helpful or whatever ink pads you use. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's what that is. Let's have a look at the stamp set. Sorry about that, guys. I know I was getting a bit carried away then. Um, right, let's have a look at colours. So did I use mint macaron for that one? Yes, I did. Mint macaron. Um, just jade. Misty moonlight. Chilly spruce. There we go. Right, so on this one, I used Mint Macaron, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Shaded Spruce, just give that a bit of a clean, and Pacific Point. I used the Snowflake stencils for the background of that. Oh, Balmy Blue. Let's not forget Balmy Blue. Yeah. A freshly inked Balmy Blue. Uh, yeah. And then we used Merriest Moments, we used Colour and Contour, Gorgeous Leaves, quite a few stamps tonight guys, sorry about that, but it makes, makes it fun doesn't it, there we go. Hi Miss Heidi, there we go, and then for the second one, we used Fresh Freesia, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green and Mint Macaron. Okay, 
So those four, like so. And then stamp sets, we used Gorgeous Leaves, use that long one. Use Merriest Moments again. And the leaf from uh, Tasteful, Tasteful Touches. Lost my voice then. Tasteful Touches, that one. And also the little flower from In Symmetry. Okay. No star, Wendy. Yep. Take care. Right, there you have it. So I will I will take photos and put this on the um put this on the thumbnail. Actually I might take photos and put this on Artful Stamping Space because it's been a while since I've done that, actually taking whole pictures of things. Because uh, you guys seem to have liked this one tonight, so I'll try and do that. But first of all, I need to go to the loo. So anyway, <laughs> Just keeping it real. Uh, that's why I'm wiggling on my seat. I'm like, I need to go to the toilet. So thank you so much. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. I'm going to sneeze as well. <coughs> oh, my word. Sorry. All right. Lots of love. Lots of love and hugs to those of you who are grieving and sorrowing at this time. Um, you know, just lots and lots of love and sending prayers your way so all the best and um god bless and see you again next week bye for now <laughs>